the name of gender equality this year, please welcome Mr. Golden Globe, my adult son from a previous relationship, Randy. All right, lots of laughs at the Golden Globes last night. Of course, it always is if you have Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, second-time hosts. They're getting some rave reviews today, which is always nice because we've seen it kind of ugly when it comes to some of the hosts in the past. So they've done great for two years running. Here to talk about this year's big winners and which movies fell short is editor of HollywoodLife.com, Bonnie Fuller. Always nice to see you, Bonnie, especially Thanks, the day after so we can analyze everything. Let's get started because th there were a lot of, there was a lot of tough competition, I felt like, this year. I saw most of the movies. Um, first off, though, so best motion picture drama, 12 Years a Slave, that was not really any surprise, was it? It wasn't a surprise. I think it was the front runner because okay. they had the most nominations. And in fact, I think it was kind of surprising that they didn't have more wins. I, I think so, that too. That was a little bit shocking. I, I was surprised that I kept hearing American Hustle, American Hustle. What does their win, though, last night mean for Thursday and Oscar nominations? Well, it's always good to have a Golden Globes win. Mm -hmm. It puts you in good steed. In fact, research that we looked at at HollywoodLife.com shows us that if you don't get nominated at all for Best Picture okay. in either of the categories at Golden Globes, you have a minuscule chance of winning, an, of winning the Oscar for Best Picture. So it's not really about the winners, but nominations, at least if you're nominated as a contender. Exactly. Okay. Then you're in the running. However, the other interesting thing is that dramas do much better at the Oscars than comedies or musicals. Well, let's talk about this one because this we've got you know two categories for best motion picture. The next one for comedy or musical, American Hustle, obviously. Amy Adams won for best actress in that category for the film. Jennifer Lawrence took home the globe for best supporting actress in her role in American Hustle. I mean, it just it just swept everything for the most part. There are two best pictures given. Does one have a leading edge over another? when it comes to the nominations we're going to hear about on Thursday. Yeah, they, it, um, 12 Years a Slave as a drama is going to have an edge over American Hustle. Just traditionally, Oscar, um, the Oscar voters tend to go for the harder hitting films. Okay. And the thing is, these, these voters are very different. There's no Oscar voters that are in the goal, that are in the foreign press. So you've got two di entirely different sets. D totally different audiences for the most That's part, right. really. Um, you know, I was looking at the competition in terms of actresses, and you see it flash, you know, to Meryl Streep, and then you've got Amy Adams that walked away. She beat out Meryl Streep, but you said that category was tough across the board. It was a really tough category. In fact, I was, I was really surprised that Jennifer Lawrence beat out Lupita Nyong'o, mm -hmm. who was so fabulous in 12 Years a Slave. And I think Lupita <laughs> is going to actually have a much better chance of beating Jennifer and Meryl Streep when it comes to the Oscars. All right, well, that's good. Thursday to come, right? <laughs> uh, let's talk about the men of Dallas Buyers Club. That took top spots this year. Best actor in a motion picture drama went to Matthew McConaughey for his role in the film. And then Jared Leto won Best Supporting Actor for the same film, Dallas Buyers Club. That was a tough category, too, considering competition. And I agree with you. Uh, 12 Years a Slave, I would think, would take this category. I think that... Uh, uh, you cannot rule out Chiwetel Ejiofor mm -hmm. for the Oscar, that he could he could triumph over Matthew McConaughey. However, they're both going to have more competition because you're going to have Leo DiCaprio, I'm sure, is going to get nominated in this category for Oscars. Here, they were divided into right. two categories. So, you know, it's all condensed, so it's, it's, it's much tougher. It's a little bit tougher in the next round it of is. award ceremonies. Can't forget about the big win for uh, DiCaprio. I feel like he's gotten stronger over the years. I, I, when I hear his name, I always think Titanic, but obviously he is well progressed past that and Wolf of Wall Street. Are you surprised that didn't walk away with more awards? Um, not, not really, because it was quite a controversial film. Okay. I mean, half the critics loved it, mm -hmm. half hated it, and uh, I think that I think he was kind of lucky to get that award because I thought think the competition was tough, which will be even more difficult for Oscars. But I just loved how they got the uh, Tina and Amy. They just got that <laughs> ribbing in there. They got him for for they dating a multitude of supermodels. <laughs> they don't care. He who won in that category, the supermodel yeah. Yeah, he category, did, and as he always does. Yeah. Bonnie Fuller, good to see. <laughs> you. I'm sure we'll see you back here Oscar time. Happy Thanks. Too.